Oh shit, I hit killing live. Oh hey, I am live. And the screen just went blank for a second on my preview screen, so... Oh boy, only good omens. Welcome back everybody, Dirk the Red Panda here with Tennis Ace. And it just restarted the time. <laughs> oh boy, only good omens. So yeah, I've been just... School... I've just been doing school, so that's kind of where things have been going for me. I just got a new job, so I am working on campus as a soccer ref. <laughs> so the thing is, I haven't played soccer since like, you know, like Little League Soccer. So only, only the best of experiences at school. So it's a fun job to do. Like it, it's better, I think, than like actually like coaching or doing stuff like that because you don't have to like know the people and like I mean know the you know customers in a sense like you know you're just doing an as best as you can an unbiased job and getting paid for it ah shoot my, my roommate just told me the sauce that I got was amazing <laughs> great timing I got some ponzu sauce for our apartment and mmm Ponzo sauce is bomb. Just replying to that while wasting your guys' time. How to make views and money, YouTuber style. <laughs> And we are back. Yeah. So, yeah, other than that, I mean, midterms are coming up. So after this weekend, I think I'm going to start having to haul ass on studying. Yeah, that's going to be fun. So basically my entire Halloween weekend, Wednesday, Thursday, and the following Tuesday, I have midterms. So yeah, no Halloween fun, just studying. <laughs> Yeah, um, I'm trying to think what else can I catch you guys up on. Um, hmm. Not much else other than that. I mean, I did not make the club team. As you kind of saw from my Twitter rants, I did not make my club team, so I'm not playing a sport right now, just roughing one. Yeah, and then... It, f it turned out that the whole thing about my roommate getting to like practice with him, it's like invite only, so it's it's nothing against me, it's more of just oh, if they like, if they find somebody they they want to have on the team or whatever, they just invite them or whatever I mean just to practice with, I mean, I guess it's not like, oh, we're just gonna leave one person out or some crap like that so, it makes me feel better and honestly it's good for him because you know living his best life. Meanwhile, I get to live my best life getting some exercise, running up and down a soccer field. Seriously, that sport gets me so out of shape at times, like, or makes me realize how out of shape I am. Like, I never had to run up and down, like, a huge grass field for a sport before. Maybe, like, Little League Soccer, like I said, but nothing like too extensive like that. Like, I've never had to run, like, a full-size field before. <laughs> anyway, that's enough about me, and I am boring you guys to death, probably. This is why my videos don't get views. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. We are going to the June update. I don't think these... Yeah, these don't have page names. Come on, Basket, get on this shit. <laughs> but then again, I think it was basket commissioned somebody to do it custom so he did have the basic template can't blame him for that shit which one are we on okay. all right so with all of that confusion and ranting out of the way <laughs> let's get into the reading if i could choose the right one <laughs> lord help july Oh, July, August, September. 
I can count, I swear. I should definitely leave thinking for another day. Was this just after we uh, threw our phone and shit? Day 22, the broken phone. I yawn, walking through the school gates while lazily rubbing my eyes until they nearly begin to water. I lost track of time last night and ended up staying awake until nearly 3 a.m. watching TV. Something that the creator of this game and I can really relate to. Mm. I was so desperate to distract myself from my own mind that I completely shut down instead. Probably not the healthiest way to deal with my own issues. Oof. These two had to voice them. Oh my god, why you gotta give me such challenging characters to voice first, Basket? <clears throat> Good morning. I hear a familiar voice and look up to find two mice that had taken to walk in on both sides of me at the same time. I'm getting... I'm getting robbed by them. <laughs> Jinichiro is gonna cap my knees. Jinichiro is gonna steal the money. Or would it be the other way around? Yeah, probably the other way around. So, what's up? Morning. You walked up to me. You don't just what's up me. You just be like, how's the life or something? Have something to talk about, man. <laughs> I somehow managed to mutter out a half-hearted greeting in response. Man, I even sound defeated. The two brothers, hearing the tone of my voice, share a glance with each other, raising their eyebrows. Nikoku, are you... <clears throat> Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You know when I'm fine sounds convincing? When you sigh deeply right before saying it. Just have a lot on my mind. Might not have gotten much sleep either. Uh, I'm sounding out of it right now too, because I got up at like... 11 or 12 or something like that and literally just spent the day self-grooming until like 3 or something and so I basically haven't started my day until 2 hours ago fun <laughs> the shorter mouse gives me a friendly pat on the back dude you're boned oh my god do I have a boner don't tell me I have a boner huh how much sleep did you get last night Nikoku I went to bed at 3 a.m. Why? Yeah, like I said, you're bound. Screwed. Completely f- Alright, alright, I think I get it. You can stop talking now. The mouse laughs, sounding incredibly amused with himself. Um, you did remember today is the first day of midterms, right? Oh my god, why do you have to remind me about my midterms? Shut up! <laughs> why does everybody have midterms in October right now? This is killing me. And I'm dead. I freeze. <laughs> that face of, I just shut down and I am screwed for life. The two stop on their tracks a few steps ahead of me once they notice. <laughs> that's not the face of someone who, who, or that's not the face of someone who remembered. I take a few deep, slow breaths. I feel bad for not saying hi to all you guys. Like, everybody's saying hi to me. I'm just like, uh, ignored. Uh, hello, guys. Back to the reading. <laughs> oh, crap. Jin, hold on. I feel a burp coming. And it's receding. Nope, a little bit. Jin whistles, staring at me with an amazement look on his face. Or a look of amusement. I oh, don't know. English isn't his first language. Wow, you're a lot calmer than I thought you'd be. I was hoping you'd flip out. Kinda underwhelmed, I gotta say. Jin, that's mean. You shouldn't laugh at people's problems. The mouse clicks his tongue, looking up at his older brother with a frown. Jeez, you're such a goody two shoes. At least it's not goody tissues. <laughs> I think this is the second time Basket has used this word. I just can't stop thinking about that one time Howley used goody tissues instead of two shoes. 
<laughs> oh man. I'll never let that down. Mm. I sigh once again, and both heads turn to stare at me at the same time. Are you going to be alright? Other than the fact that I didn't study at all and my head isn't even properly in place, yeah. You act like that's a big deal. You never study and you always get good grades anyway. Friggin' annoying. Well, you certainly are the authority on the annoying. Jin cocks his head to the side, clearly puzzled by my statement just now. The taller mouse, who I've always known as much brighter than his sibling, covers his mouth with his hand and chuckles. <laughs> what does that mean? That, or that it, or that it's a good thing that, or that it's a good thing you're pretty. I wouldn't even say that. <sighs> Straight off the bat. He puffs his chest with pride, thinking he just got complimented, and cracks a big smile. Hell yeah I am. Good on you to notice. <laughs> oh my god, Gin snorts, trying to hold back laughter. I don't think that means what you think it means. Huh? Then what does it mean? Gin smiles warmly, putting a hand on his brother's shoulder and slowly shaking his head sideways. Is it just mirrors like the... Yeah, my desktop audio is muted. Fudge muffins. Let me fix that. I think I know how to fix it. Don't worry, I have a, I have a plan. I think I have a plan. Sound. Because I can't even hear anything. Yeah, my outputs are fudged up so much. I can't hear anything. Help. Multi-output device. Why is it not working? Help. Let me see if I can... My buttons work. Why is my music not work? My music is not working. Where's the joyful music? Uh. This is awkward. Stand by, please. I am having some struggles. Okay. Nothing is still happening. Uh, I still can't hear anything. Anything better for you guys? It's like I keep changing it back to multi-output device, and nothing is happening. Uh. Oh Jesus, my fuck. It, it's loud. Okay, what is happening to my output devices? I'm having some problems. <laughs> okay, so... Sorry, I'm just... I can hear the sounds, I just can't hear any music. You're too stressed to hear music. I need the music to calm me down. <laughs> like, the, like, when I do the desktop audio, it's like... Yeah. Like, the audio works. It's just weird. I'm like, this is tennis Station. So it always is, is supposed to have music. What is happening to this game? 
All right. Watch there be like music on the next two lines or something like that. It just starts up again. Oh, I'm getting too paranoid. Anyway. I'll tell you later. Come on. We still need to return some library books before class starts. You're already late on returning it as is. Oh, right. I had forgotten about that. The two start walking away. Their torsos turned around so they can look back at me. See you in class, Nikokun. <laughs> bye bye, zombie. I wave them off at this. Uh, uh, words. Stress. It hurts. I wave them off as the two rush ahead towards one of the buildings. Zombie, huh? I wonder if I look that bad. Okay, at least my comp- Hey, we got music now. My ears have been satisfied. I walk into the classroom, going up to my chair and dropping my bag on top of my desk. Uh, let me know if I need to lower the... Whatever the game volume. Because it's like three and a half or whatever. I'm just gonna put it at three for now. Ta da! From a cursory glance around the room, I could see a bunch of students hunched over their desks, desperately flipping pages on their textbooks and notes. Man, midterms really are brutal, huh? Or guess midterms really are brutal, huh? It must be even harder for the people that have to keep on top of those while also studying for college entrance exams. <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> or be in college and have exams. College is stress. I'm glad I don't have to bother with that sort of thing. I could literally just bomb this class on purpose and then just straight up leave and not give a crap and go pro. However, there is one figure I sort of expected to see here that is sadly still unaccounted for. Jun's desk is still empty with no sign of him or his belongings. Oh, that's weird. Usually he's already at... Usually he's... He's usually already in school by the time I get here. And I was late today, too. Taking another look around, I spot one person that isn't doing what I expect them to be doing. Oh, I walk up I walk up Ryuji, who is leaning back on his chair and playing some game on his phone. Jeez, he won't drop these or he won't drop those even on the day of these the well, Jeez, he won't drop those even on the day of the exams? Is he really gonna go by with a near failing grade three years in a row? You're already playing games this time of morning? He glances up from the screen for only a split second, registering my presence and looking back down to his phone. Wasn't, wasn't expecting to get a lecture from you of all people about it. Nah, no lecture. More like, uh, ah. Oh. And then that's good. Yes, I'm in awe of just how irresponsible you can be. But then again, I did stay up until 3 a.m. watching television, so I guess I'm one to talk. Are you gonna be okay for the test? I'll be fine. There are four midterms every year. It's not the end of the world if I fail one of them. There is so much wrong with that, I don't even know where to start. What game are you playing anyway? Everdark Fantasy. Fuck, what, what is that game? What what title ripoff is that? Something fantasy. I swear the fantasy part like is the actual name of the game. I don't know anything about video games. Except, uh, sandbox games. Those are like my types of games. RPGs and sandbox. Or visual novels and sandbox, more like it. Hmm, <laughs> no kidding. No kidding. Isn't that the gotcha game that's been really getting popular lately? 
The bear nods, tapping away at the, his phone's screen with the same blank look as he always has on his face. How does this one even work anyway? Uh, like, how do you play? It has a tactical battle system like in the title battle series. The units you get have different skills and stats and fill different roles in battle. You can deploy them up to 10 at a time. Okay. It's one of those games. Tactical games. Huh. That's not what I expected out of a game like this. Actually, that's not what I expected you to play at all. There are character quests every time you level up a unit, and you can choose a unit to romance at any time. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, there we go. <laughs> Uh, suddenly, everything makes so much sense. <laughs> he nods again, his eyes on what appears to be a character's stat screen. Ha, hashtag that stat. Dim stats. <laughs> I can see the character's portrait, level, and information like health, energy, and so much more. To be honest, it looks like a really detailed status screen for basically amounts to a gambling game. But then again, I don't play these, so I don't really know what they're supposed to be like. Too bad Ryuji is straight. I never was interested in him. I don't know. Not much appealing about him. The gameplay definitely seems to be just like any other tactical RPG I've seen. Oh, he's back! Oh ho ho! Uh... Da da da... Before I noticed it, I'm leaning over Ryuji's back, watching his screen with great interest. The bear seems to pick up on this fairly quickly as he leans his phone slightly so I can have a better angle of view. Wow, the game even has voice acting when the characters use their special skills too. How fancy. Oh, and the visual effects are really good too. Damn, this thing's projection values are really through the roof. <laughs> what are we looking at? Whoa. Yes. Uh, a character approaches? J Jesus, don't shout like that. You scare me. Scared you? When did you even get here? Don't sneak up on people like that. I sneaked up on you? No, you were fine. He's the one freaking out. Ryuji looks up at me with an uncharacteristic glare, having dropped his phone when I cried out. It broke now. Luckily, it only fell on this table and nothing got broken. Never mind. Still. Oops. You could see his thick stature through that jacket of his. <laughs> Sorry. Looking around, I see a lot of unfriendly faces pointing at my direction. All around me are familiar faces, worn out faces. <laughs> I'm sorry. First thing that came to mind when I read that line. Not a good way to start the day. <laughs> what are you two doing anyway? Huh? Oh, usually was showing me this game he was playing. Really? What g Wait, hang on. We have midterms today. Why are you looking at games? Are you really surprised that he'd be playing? I was talking to you. Me? I'll be fine. Besides, studying ten minutes before the test isn't gonna help anyone anyway. I don't know. Wouldn't you want to feel like you did everything you could until the last possible minute? That would at least make me feel better. That's just for soothing yourself. Or that's just for soothing yourself. I don't think it'd help that much. Besides, if you're panicked enough that you feel the need to cram right into the last second, I doubt you'd absorb any of the information you read up on anyway. I guess that's a point. Jun's tail lashes behind him, betraying his attempt to look calm. Are you okay? Uh huh. Me? I think so. Hmm. That awkwardness is real. I grab Jun's arm and motion to the back of the classroom with my head, gently pulling him along with me. 
He looks surprised by the sudden touch, but otherwise follows me without an issue. Are you sure you're okay? I don't know. I think so. Why? Are you okay? Hmm, that's a complicated question. I didn't sleep much last night. Hold on. Ah, gastric reflex. Oh, uh, because of the exams, or...? He lets the question hang in the air, not finishing the sentence. What, Whether it is because he doesn't want to or can't, I'm not sure. I kind of forgot we had midterms today. Is that bad? What? Of course that's bad. Are you sure you're going to be okay? The last thing I want is for you to get a bad grade because of me. Eh, I study about as much as I always do. I should be fine. Really? That's a relief. I pulled him away because I was worried about him, and somehow this ended up becoming about me. What? what when did that even happen? Did you study at all? Of course I did. Oh shit, we forgot to help you study. <laughs> Outside of the time when I tutored you. Yeah. Is that so? Yeah, I swear I studied. You don't even have to look at me like that. Good boy. Don't call me that. <laughs> I guess I might have been overthinking things. Gets a zero on the test. All things considered, June seems to be doing well. Or at least as well as June usually does. Do you even know what tests we'll have today? Yeah, don't you? It's on our schedule. It is? Don't you ever check? I think I checked it once right after I started school here. I also think I lost mine a while ago. <sighs> you could have just gotten to the staff room and asked for another copy to be printed. Oh, I didn't know that. I'll go with you to get a new one during lunch break. That'd be really helpful. Thank you. For the record, you really need to keep more on top of this kind of stuff. Y yeah I know. It's just that my old school is much more lax with our studies, so I guess I fell behind when compared to a more prestigious school like this one. I really want to know what the hell kind of school he went to before they left him up so unprepared for the basic responsibilities you have in high school. I bet it's one of those trade schools where it's like, it's a music school of some sorts. And that's what stressed him out. I see somebody mentioned Beastars, and oh my goodness. I need to catch up. I'm on like chapter 23 still. I am so far behind, but it's like, it's a solid series. I mean, I want to like read the whole manga before I watch the anime. It just feels more right to me. But I'm so glad people are, like, enjoying it, though. He really deserves it. The Department of Education really ought to take long, hard look at those guys. I see. And to answer your earlier question, today we'll have social studies. Mount Olympu! <laughs> oh god, remember that stupid pop quiz we had to help June answer? Okay, but which one's from social studies? All of them. <laughs> all of the studies. Every single social study. Uh, all of them? That's five different subjects. Yeah, day one is hell day. After that, we have two subjects a day, which is much more manageable. Although, each of the subjects' tests are much bigger to make up for that. Like math. <laughs> oh, that'd be a hell of a plot twist. The subjects that compose the curriculum can vary a bit from school to school. The really important stuff like math, Japanese, and whatnot are taught at every school. <laughs> I love how it's like, instead of English, it, it's like, you gotta have Japanese. It's like, it makes me think for every school, it's like, you know, instead of like having, a, you know, your, you know, your mathematical stuff, and then your, 
your l written language and literature type of stuff. It's just all bunched into your language. Oh, it's Japanese. Oh, it's English. Oh, it's Spanish. Whatever. For your respective country. Akira, I hate you so much. I I'm still in college. College is... College is... Ugh. Yeah. I'm glad I'm done with the high school BS, but at the same time, it's like... Just get, I just want to be done with like education in general so I can just start working. I'd rather just be educated enough so I can just work and, you know, not have to worry about studying for exams. And I, I just get, get scared of not being qualified, I guess. Ah, uh, yes, terrors of high school tests. Anyway, but for stuff like social studies, they can be broken down into multiple subjects or taught as one giant class. For ours, social studies is comprised of history, geography, sociology, politics, and philosophy. Holy crap, you are gonna die. If that is what your school requires you to study in one year and in like the same year together, you are dead. All I had to do was history, geography freshman year, and politics, slash like, you know, economics. So, yeah. That is death. <laughs> I did have to take philosophy in college last year, and probably have to take sociology next year. Anyway. Oh no. C can I see your schedule? I want to know what tests we'll have tomorrow. Jesus Christ. Who the hell scheduled this? Physics and chemistry on Tuesday? Why the hell are they teaching all of this to you in one year? We had to take chemistry first before we took physics. Even though they didn't really relate other than, like, units. Like, you know, unit, like, system or whatever. Like, other than that, nothing mattered from chemistry and physics. Okay, so physics and chemistry on Tuesday. World and Japanese literature on Wednesday. Math and health on Thursday. English and Japanese on... F okay, that is... That would fuck me up so hard. To imagine having English and your four or whatever your first language and your foreign language on the same day like that sucks like I literally have that for like my midterms this week Wednesday I have one programming language the following day I have the next one like too much programming back to back and they're all different languages so I have to like switch how I think of it one's like lower level like okay you have to write everything yourself and everything takes a lot longer to write and the other one's like higher level where it's like, oh, just write a function and that's how you solve it. <laughs> oh boy. I am talking too much. College exams in college can be crazy out of control. Agreed. What well, you know that off the top of your head? Sure. It's the same order every year. Jesus Christ, you have that every single year? It follows a pattern too. Social, science, social, science, social. Oh man, I wasn't ready to deal with physics tomorrow already. What am I going to do? I'm just as bad as it, as, at it as I am at math. Study right after you get home from school. Like I should have. <laughs> but, but I need to practice too. What are you talking about? Club activities are paralyzed during midterms. Just like they should be for finals. That's why that's why it happens the week after the festival. So there's one big break and then it's back to normal. I've never been so happy to get a D in Spanish. We had to get Caesar higher in order to have a count at my school. <laughs> so really? I, I didn't know that. There is a lot you don't know. It's shocking, honestly. Shocking. <laughs> Did do you suppose they'd let me use the music room anyway? Oh, honey, no. <laughs> oh my gosh. I could just feel Basket saying that line. Like, it just would straight up stop from being Nico to like Basket just interjecting that line. Oh, honey, no. Oh, God. <laughs> I could just feel this one. I could feel that line on a, on a whole nother level. <laughs> Oh god. Yeah, somehow I don't see that happening. Oh. But seriously, if you feel that insecure about physics, then you should really head home right after the exams today and study. I... I guess... 
I um, can help if you want. You can? Sure. I'm used to tutoring people anyway. And I'm sure you already noticed that I'm good at it the last time I helped you with your homework. Being good at physics? Impossible. <laughs> physics is like... It's like either you're the 99% of people, or the 99.9% .9 of people that don't get it and suck at it, or the 0.1% that are amazing at it and can just tutor you for days at it. I was in a class like that where it was like a half a dozen or a dozen of the kids were like that, where like they got it and they knew that, and then the rest of us were like the dumb idiots that were like, how do I physics? I'm dead. <laughs> I was one of those. Okay. Yeah, that'd be great. You're a lifesaver, Nika-san. I'm glad you think so. Should I come over to your place after school? My place or yours? Doesn't really matter to me. Whichever you prefer is fine. You know my parents. I don't think they'd give us room to study. They'd be constantly prodding and wanting to talk to you. <laughs> That's... a fair point. Yeah, we'll go to my place after all. Oh, the teacher, with his magical book handling skills. Honestly, I would love to see somebody just hold a book like that and just see how long it takes for them to just break their wrists. Like, that is the worst position to hold a book. Let me, oh, I have a book about that size. Let me, let me get my stats, mathematical, what is it called? Mathematical statistics with applications and try this pose. All right, here goes nothing. Actually, uh, it's not, oh my god, okay, it's kind of a weird, I am education man, I hold the book of grading, <laughs> and probability, yeah, it's not that bad, but it's such a, I'm trying to hold it the way he is, Oh, okay, yeah, he's like holding it on the outside like that. I am getting such an arm workout for this, like... Shima actually has a good arm workout plan from this, damn. I can imagine him, like... Didn't he throw something at one of his students or whatever? Like, oh, that I'm just, like, placing my own math teacher's stories in my head. I don't know, but holy crap, this gives you such a good, like, shoulder workout. Oh my god. Dude, I just found a new shoulder workout. Let me open up one of my random books of statistical application. Oh hey, this lesson we're on. The meme. <laughs> it's like we literally spent four weeks in my stats class, like, or my mathematical stats class, like, doing the first chapter and just doing functions and stuff, like the stuff everybody hates. And then we finally get to the stuff where it's like, oh, here's the scores, like the probability scores or whatever, the stuff that people actually like or the people actually apply. Like, finally did that, like, on Thursday. And I'm like, finally. <laughs> Holding the books like the pistols. How can I atone myself? I have, even, I have forgotten what you have done, so you have been forgiven. Anyway, oh, I forgot his voice. What is his voice, guys? I am so screwed. All right, class, everyone sit down and listen. Or, yeah, that sounds like it. Wait a minute. He's a deer, just like another character from a different manga. Hmm, plot twist, Lewis is Shima's son. That would be such an interesting plot twist. Like, she would just, like, burst in the class one day for, like, whatever B-Star's, like, high school is, and then just be like, oh, no, it's Cherryton. I can't believe I forgot that. Just busted into Cherryton. It's just like, we are doing pros or whatever the fuck he likes so much. Oh, no, ancient histories. He, like, he's like, where are we doing ancient histories, bitch? <laughs> oh, God. What a time we'll have. So, everyone sit down and listen. Shima Sensei walks into the room with from the front door, carrying a pile of papers on his hand. Probably like these doing with his book, just holding it to the side like that. On his hand, which I assume are our tests. 
The few murmurs of students conversing with each other quickly die down and everyone quickly goes to their desks. Cookie is live streaming Tennis Ace 2. We must fight. We must fight for this. Is he really live streaming Tennis Ace at the same time as me? I am fucked with five Qs. <laughs> Oh, it's an E. I keep forgetting, he has like three channels, it's like, it switches up. He is live right now with part 13. Oh my god. I am so sorry, guys. Message retracted. Wait, did they retract their message because of that? Oh well. So, I'll talk to you more later. See you on the other side. Uh, uh, okay. Why do you sound like you're about to get killed off dramatically? It's just a test. As we sit right next to each other, er, and we sit right next to each other. Right, good. Everyone's in place. This wasn't as painful as I thought it'd be. Certainly a lot less whining than we got last year. Er, man, I just... I went so deep on his voice there. I don't know. Do I like that? Experiment time. So, oh, Kyoko. I have to go for a higher voice. And that's because he walked into the classroom blowing an air horn last year and kept blowing it every time someone opened their mouth to ask a question. Oh my god, that sounds like a legendary teacher. <laughs> yes, and since the school has since taken my air horn away and told me that I'm not allowed to blow it in class willy-nilly, we all got to hear your interjection, Nekonishi. <laughs> oh my god. I just want to change one of those letters. You know which one. And that last name. Sounds familiar. I see the cat who sits right at the front of the classroom, shifting on her seat and crossing her arms. <laughs> you frickin' tattletale. He's just, he's just like, he's just like internally just like flipping out at her. Oh god. That would scare the shit out of me. Like, I would have just gotten a heart attack at that point. Like, if they could have like a school simulator that has that for the teachers, that would be, mm, that would be perfect. I see a cat who sits right at the front of the classroom, shifting on her seat and crossing her arms. Given how quickly her mood can go, grow sour, I can only imagine she is glaring daggers at Shima-sensei right now. Here in my hands I hold your fates. I'm sure many of you might say this is an exaggeration, but now that all, you all are seniors, the grades you get are all the more important. Colleges won't take only your results in the entrance exams into account, or at least not the ones that are worth getting into. They'll also check how you did in school, in your extracurriculars, things like that. With that in mind, I believe it goes without saying that any bad grades you, can, you get can and will affect you in the future, especially now that we've reached this critical juncture. We'll first start with everyone's favorite subject, history. I'll hand each row a stack of test sheets. Everyone take on and pass the stack to the person behind you. I, I, I just want to give them that, like, kind of fast speaking, like, tense, like, I fucking hate my life type of voice. Like, he just fucking hates these people. Oh, God. I'm not entirely... It, it's... Uh, it's not entirely uncommon for Shima-sensei to rub people the wrong way, but man, he becomes even more of a nightmare during exam week. People grumble and groan at the mention of history, probably because no one has fond memories of the subject thanks to Sensei's unorthodox zeal in teaching it. I trust I don't have to tell anyone, too, if I catch any student talking whispering, glancing, gesturing, or even thinking towards, about, or with another student. I will take away their tests and give them zeros. Are we understood? Mm. That is a typical high school teacher. 
and in colleges they're they're even more strict with it like even though a lot of stuff in high school they're like you got to be prepared for this in college you know they're they're not gonna go easy on you in college they're pretty much chill and everything and except for exams exams they're like we gotta have proctors we gotta have like you know a, a set time for everything and if you have extended time you have to really schedule and organize it like everything's super standardized when it comes to college testing yeah wait oh did i miss that line the entire class nods in understanding most of everyone now wearing very visible frowns and scowls I mean, the mood already wasn't the best considering we had tests looming over us, but man, the atmosphere here tanked so fast it's surprising. Shima Sensei claps both hands together, looking around to the one final er, looking around to the one final time. I don't like how that's written. Looking around to the one final time with a smile. Looking around one final time. I think that's the correct way to say it. Sorry, I'm getting super English and grammatic, even though that final is until, isn't until Friday for them. <laughs> Very well. You can all get started on your tests then. I wish you all good luck. I really outdid myself when making these, so I'm sure you'll need all the luck you can get. Oh my god, I hate teachers like that where it's like, I am the gatekeeper of you passing or failing. Teachers with, the, teachers with that mentality are freaking frustrating. My roommate has a teacher like that for chemistry, and it just, I feel so bad for him. It just sucks when they do that, because it's like, even if you know the subject, it's like, you feel like you have to be some sort of, like, major in it, or some sort of, like, you know, master at the subject. Like, I have to know 100% of the material. There's, like, no... Uh, no mercy. The worst part is this guy really thinks we'd be happy to know that. He doesn't even realize that no one else shares his passion for history. I don't know if that should make me sad or annoyed. It makes me very sad. We dead a few hours later, Jesus Christ. The murmurs amongst the students grow more impassioned with each passing second. As soon as the bell rang for lunch break and Shima Sensei left the room, people started talking to each other to compare notes, confirm their answers, oh god, wrong there, among other things. <laughs> right after we were done with the history test came both sociology and philosophy. Aren't they just the same thing? I'm literally doing like a little certificate thing on the side of my major where you could either take a sociology or psychology, so it's kind of like similar in that it's like, you know, they're pretty much the same thing, but you only need one of them. <laughs> like, you know. You you do one, you kind of know the other. That means after lunch we'll have to deal with politics and geography. Oh my god, that sounds terrible. I want to say that they saved the worst for last, because those classes are a real pain in the ass, but... All of the social sciences are a pain in the ass. There's a very interesting English grammatical thing for why it's are instead of is. Like, when people say, like, all is well, it's, like, typically it's, like, saying, like, all is a singular entity. If you're saying, like, all and there's, like, partitions of it, it's typically, like, all are accounted for, like, all these individuals, people. I don't know. There's a very... English is weird. I don't want to explain it. And I had, like, a drink earlier, and I'm not sure if it's fading off or if it's kicking in worse. Because my head's, like, just in one of those kind of woozy modes. And yet I'm next to my mini fridge. I could just grab another beer and just keep doing it. I grab my lunchbox from inside my bag, placing it on top of my desk. I turn around to look for a certain tiger and... Yep, he dead. Find him in what I can only describe as a catatonic, catatonic state. Wow. Fancy words. I would glance sideways every now and again when Shima Sensei wasn't looking to check on how Jun was doing. Which means I got to watch him grow more and more frustrated until I was pretty sure there was smoke coming out of his head as his entire operating system crashed. 
Man, I really hope you didn't bomb the exams too badly. Um, hey there, tiger. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> How are you hanging? I, I I'm finished. I I'm done. Uh oh. Those aren't the good first words to hear right after a test. Here, here. How about you put a ta How about you put your table together with mine, and we can go over our answers while we eat, okay? Uh, okay. Man, he looks really frazzled. That's me after every exam. And then realizing five minutes later that all my answers are wrong or like I could have done them in a different way. Me on every quiz actually, because we only get like 10 minutes for quizzes. At least in my labs. And so it really sucks and I just end up like sitting there and going, Whoop, I don't have enough time, my brain doesn't function as fast. Anyway. Poor guy must be freaking out by now. Come on, June, cheer up. I'm sure you can't have done that badly. You heard Shima Sensei. I don't have the luxury of doing badly at all. I might as well kiss my schooling in Europe goodbye if I do. There's no point in freaking out so soon. You studied hard, right? The fruits of your labor are bound to show themselves. You really think so? Maybe he just has test anxiety. You know, people study, have to study more with who have test anxiety, like me. Of course, provided you really did study. You're not that stupid, June. You're just really easily distracted. Yeah. I give him an encouraging pat on the back, try my best to cheer him up. If he crashes and burns before the day is over, then he'll really be screwed with the next two week or with the next two tests. I don't know when it was that I took the responsibility of managing his tension, but I'll still do my best. Come on, let's eat. You can't think on an empty stomach. Take out your lunch. Yeah, you're right. At least he follows my instructions diligently enough. I suppose he doesn't have enough fight left in him to go against what I say. I'm not sure if that's a good or a bad thing. Do you think Shuichi-san and Mizuguchi-san will be coming over today? Hard to say. They might be going over their answers with their classmates too. Goofing off too much during their lunch break isn't a good idea, otherwise you might end up getting distracted. Yeah, I guess. Of course, that doesn't mean a little levity isn't welcome. There's only so much stress you, your mind can take before it snaps. Here, you want a sausage octopus? Just like the ones from Agretzko that Anai made? <laughs> uh, that, that's what I'm going to think about when it's a sausage octopus. Nothing worse than that. No, I don't have a dirty mind, I swear. <laughs> but yeah. That whole snapping thing, kind of did that yesterday. I have this thing where I have like a sound sensitivity to like when people like cough or sneeze or like sniffle or things like that where it's like, you know, sounds like that, you know, and it, oh, especially clearing your throat too. I forgot about that one, but like those types of things where it's like, you know, and basically I get really stressed and tensed up when I hear that stuff. Like, it just, it's like nails on a chalkboard for me. And when it, when it gets to be too much and there's too many people doing it in a single setting, I get like really, really antsy and my mind just shuts down and gets distracted. So, yeah. My mind can only take so much before it snapped. And yesterday it did and I had to walk, walk outside twice. And yeah, had to call a counselor. <laughs> Fun. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> at least he's easy to, at least he's easy to distract with. Three, well, take three. <laughs> at least he's easy to distract with treats. My head's like getting more and more like, not like dizzy, but just kind of just like light headed, I'd say. And it's getting later from when I drank. 
<laughs> what did you bring for lunch today? Egg salad, rice, and curry. Oh, wow, that sounds pretty good. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> Yours has a lot more stuff in mine, though. Yeah, I might have gone a little overboard when cooking yesterday because I wanted to distract myself. I brought myself some, or I brought my, or I brought some pork cutlet, rice, sausages shaped like octopi, omelets, salts and vinegar, roasted veggies, potato pure, and katsudon. Jesus Christ, that is a lot of food. I am jealous. I have no food right now. I'm waiting for my paycheck to come in. <laughs> Mine and Aki's lunchboxes ended up being a weird mix of Japanese and Western food. Not that I mind. It definitely felt like a brick inside my back with how densely I packed it, though. I don't think I'll be able to eat all of this, so I feel free to have some, too. Thank you. I appreciate it. Your cooking is really good, Nika-san. <laughs> I'm happy you think so. Actually, can I try some of yours? I don't think I've ever eaten your cooking before. Sure, have some. He lightly pushes his lunchbox towards me, and I grab a little bit of curry and rice. Oh shoot, is it getting dark out already? I can't see, I, I can kind of see through the window. But yeah, winter is coming. <laughs> anyway, oh, he's here. Dirk, you should be more careful with your friends while Aw, oh, thanks. Thanks for being considerate, that. Uh, yeah, I I've been seeing psychologists on campus, and I might see one back home occasionally, so, yeah. I I've been getting he help with it, but it's been like an up and down type of battle lately, especially with school starting, but it's getting better, so don't worry, guys. Or I mean, still, y you guys can still, you know, I I don't want to say a word, but you know, you guys can still be, con be concerned, but, you know, I, I'm definitely working on it right now. I'm improving on it right now. <laughs> I've been here for the past 45 minutes, and I just didn't have anything to say. I guess it's because he didn't have anything to say when I roasted his grammar skills. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> So, anyway... Whoa, this is really good. Surprisingly mild, too. Kinda sweet. Yeah, I like to add a little more mirin than one might, might usually. I like the sweetness. Jeez, you're a sweet tooth even when it comes to lunch. <laughs> Guilty. Well, I'm not gonna complain because it's really good, but you should really watch your sugar intake. Noted. <laughs> we just called him fat. Rip. I playfully rib him whenever given the opportunity. It gives him a chance to bounce back like Big Sean, and I can tell that it's already improving his spirits quite a bit. I just saw five typos in the past three minutes. <laughs> Roasting well deserved. It's okay, Basket. Imaginarily patting you on the back. I'm just petting my bed sheets right now, imagining that it's just your back right now. Honestly, I'm relieved. The last thing I want is for him to be sulking all day, especially if we go over to my place to study afterwards. There's just no way we could make any progress if he's sobbing and freaking out the whole time. Just like every other student during midterms and finals. Actually, that was almost everybody during my linear algebra class. <laughs> that was... that was a sad class. By the way, do you already know when your next piano competition is going to be? Hmm. Well, I have the schedule for the entire year. I know it off the top of my head, too. Really? And yet you don't have the school schedule? What kind of backwards sense of priorities is that? That's me with sports and then my midterms. I keep forgetting when my midterms or finals are, but then it's like I remember like, oh, my tournament's this weekend, or oh, I have some sport thing this day. <laughs> oh, life. 
at least put equal effort into both things. You're not going to be able to go to Germany if you flunk out of school in favor of doing well in the piano competitions. The next competition is going to be next month, though I'll have to travel for that one again. Actually, out of the next four competitions, only the last one will be in town. For the ultimate finale ending. Want to just be the ultimate finale ending and that's why it's purposely put in town. Basket has it all written out in his head, man. <laughs> oh goodness. I could just imagine it just being like, well, this is the big one. You must win this one in order to get accepted into college. All your friends are watching and you're competing against that lion rival you have or whatever. And you're just in it to win it at this point and things are intense. Yeah, I could just see this being one of those. <laughs> I won't let you die, be a beautiful tiger man. <laughs> that sounds like a hassle to deal with. Eh, that's most tournaments. Did you, that's like most tournaments and competitions in general. I don't have much choice. I need results to make up for my time away. I told you this before. Fair enough. Do you have a new set list for the competition? I do. Uh... And... And it's good. Sure, but what are the songs? What's the point of telling you? Every time I try, you just complain, saying there's no point since you have no idea what I'm talking about. Uh, my heart. My soul. I keep it shining wherever I go. Sorry, I'm just modern talking right now. <laughs> I guess that's true. Well... How about you show it to me instead? Say, this weekend after we're done with the exams. Hmm. Jun's entire face suddenly lights up for some reason. Me saying something so innocuous seems to have cheered him up more than any amount of encouragement I could have attempted. <laughs> really? I'd love to play for you again. Wow. I didn't really think you'd be that happy to do it. No, no, I love it when you watch me. It really relaxes me whenever you're around. It helps me stay calm even when I'm stressing over the sheet music. I is that so? I don't know how I'm supposed to take this. Take it with grace. My face feels hot all of a sudden. Although, if you want me to play for you, then you're going to have to come over to my place. Sounds like a plan. God's plan. I'm sorry. I'm terrible. I'm sure that Basket has storyboarded the entirety of all three routes. <laughs> Lucky him. I, I cannot do that for my life right now. Like, I keep thinking of, hmm, maybe I have an idea for my characters and their roots, maybe down the road. But then I just can't piece it together and I'm stuck still in like day one. I'm like, okay, I want to eventually have them do like events and stuff, but when? I'm just like, how am I gonna progress it properly? I guess it's because I haven't played too many novels through their entirety. <laughs> oh my god. That is the longest username I've ever seen. Oh man. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Jin's tail slowly sways back and forth behind him. He's such an open book, his body language is so easy to read. It's kind of refreshing being around someone like him. It's really easy to tell when he's genuinely happy or excited, which takes a load off my shoulders since I don't have to constantly second guess his intentions or feelings. And even in the rare situations where he's lying, it's always painfully obvious that he's lying. Although that part can be a little annoying when I know he's lying and can't tell what about. Actually, uh, sorry, I was tired, I yawned. Actually, scratch that. 
soup supper annoying when that happens, but still. Boy! Look at that again. Four airs. Ah. It's weird. I got up at like 11, but at 6 p.m. and I'm tired as hell now. Why is my brain like this? So, Nico-san, can we talk about our answers to the tests? We've been already chatting for a while and haven't gotten to it. Nuzzle Bunch is gone too. Oh sure, let's start with history then. A few hours later. We're finally done with our tests for the day. June is trudging along beside me with a sour expression and sacking his shoulders. He hasn't said a word after the test for anything other than complaining about it. That's always me after a test. Even if I did well, it's like, I can't stop thinking about this test because I'm st still shocked from it. I think the only time he went quiet is when we went to the staff room to ask for a new schedule copy for him. Yes, Kuki is live. I can see that. It's scheduled for 6 p.m. I'm just gonna click it to see. Oh god. Jesus Christ, that was loud. Oh my god. Kindly read the stream rules in the description. My ears are broken. I don't think he's live yet. My ears are so hurt from that. Yeah, it's weird. He has like... Yeah, it's still not live yet. Okay. <laughs> I just killed everybody's ears with that. I'm so sorry. Anyway, back to the reading. I think the only time he went quiet is when we went to the staff room to ask for a new schedule copy for him. Probably because he didn't want to start bitching in an earshot of the teachers. <laughs> How was I supposed to know what year no the no bunk or no Nobunaga Oda died? I barely even know who he is in the first place. History in the history uh, summed up. Come on, that was a middle school level test question right there. Shima Sensei only put it there so he could say he was fulfilling the curriculum. Oh, that hurts. That hurts when that happens and you get the easy questions wrong. I literally had tests like that where I, each question was the opposite for me. Like, the first question was the hardest and the last one was the easiest. Even though progressively they should have gone harder, it, in my head it was the opposite. So, since he barely gave any classes on Japanese history like he was supposed to, he just threw us a few super easy questions that everyone should know instead to, stay, to say he did his job. I wasn't about to complain about it since I got all of them right and there were easy points, but June didn't seem all too pleased about it. In fact, he had been bitching about every single one of the tests, getting more and more vocal about it as we continued on this topic. I've been trying to go unresponsive and just look him or let him tire himself out, but it seems he doesn't even require my presence to continue on with his rant. That's easy for you to say. You probably did really well. That's neither here nor there. It's still true, though. We won't know until we get the results back. He grumbles under his breath, clearly dissatisfied with my answer. I guess he... I, my guess is he wants me to engage him so he can, he can keep venting. I don't want to sound like a jerk, but that's really annoying and I don't want to deal with that. Oh, my man's is back. The one who's getting cock blocked in this route. From the corner of my eye, I catch the figure of a husky walking past the school gates. His steps faster enough than ours, or faster than ours, that he passes us by, by without saying a word. Oh, I lied. It's easy to notice someone that big walking by after all. Hey Shuichi, I call out to him and he probably stops on his tracks. Hey Shuichi-san, I didn't see you there. The jealousy is in him. 
June runs the few steps between us, dodging through the other students passing by on their way and stopping right next to Shuichi. Shuichi turns around very slowly, and the look on his face catching me by surprise and making me freeze. Do you two need me for something? Jun's face goes a few shades wider as he and he stares up at Shuichi's slack jawed. Ugh, can't say anything. Whoa, is everything okay? Yes. His eyes are so dead and it's making me sad. Why must you do this to me? This is making me really sad. He's become a husk of a man. Or should I say, a husky of a man? I'm not taking that back, I'm so sorry. Really? It doesn't look like it. You seem to be in a bad mood, Shuichi son. <laughs> Shuichi's just about to pick Jun up and just like yeet him out to like, a n to, like over the fence or something. Oh god. He's pissed. He's just gonna take that hand down there on his hip and just pick June up and just chuck him. This is what you get for stealing my this is what you get for stealing my crush. <laughs> he looks down between the two of us, almost as if he were studying us. His eyes stop on June for just a moment. I could swear he frowned a little too. But just as quickly as the frown came, Shuichi's whole face relaxes and he lets out a loud sigh. I was ready to chalk it up to my imagination, but Jun's whole body shivers lightly right next to me and he looks really put off. I'm just so I'm just tired. Today hasn't been exactly been relaxing. Oh, I see. Did you have a hard time with the test too? Among other things, I just have a lot on my plate right now. Do you need any help? We were heading home, so I could tutor June, but if we can help... Sorry, not this time, Nico. Right now, I just need to get home and lie down for a few hours. Are you sure? We could go out, maybe try to have some fun. We could imagine Mizuguchi's son- or we could invite Mizuguchi's son and Keisuke's son too. Sorry, I'll pass. Besides, I really should get home and study. I can't afford to let my grades fall, and I'm pretty sure Saya and Arushahara will be doing the same. Good luck with your studies, you two. And Nico, take care of Jun-kun, alright? Oh no! No! Why must you say that? Mm. This makes me tear up every time. My head's even more lightheaded now from that. I need beer to relieve myself. <laughs> huh? I... um... Sure. <laughs> it just yeets off and she's like crying as he Naruto runs away. <laughs> Oh, the two of us stare shocked as Shuichi walks away without another word. Salt at its purest. Mmm, I could put some of that on my burger if that's how much salt he has. Did something happen? <laughs> God. I hate this so much. It hurts. He seemed fine the last time we talked. This bothers me so much. It's like, Shuichi's root doesn't hurt June or Case K. June's root just actively hurts Shuichi so much, and it just, ugh! You gotta stop that! Ugh, it just bothers me. Was it something I said? Hmm. If you told him, it's like, fuck. I think we did tell him. I think we did say that we were, you know? Yeah, Shuichi's dad is also pure garbage. So, June visibly deflates next to me. All the excitement he had mustered when we saw Shuichi quickly left like a deflating air balloon. What just happened? Hmm. Come on, you're not gonna go get down too, are you? I wonder... Wonder what? 
if he gay? <laughs> huh? Um, nothing. It's nothing. We should probably get going. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just say it. Just say it. Come on, are you hiding something from me now? They're not hiding. Just not sure what to think. Uh, just say it. I examined his face long and hard, trying to decide whether I believe him or not. June is such a crappy liar that it's really easy to see when he's hiding something, but at the same time, he's so stubborn about his secrets that trying to pry it out might just land me in trouble. Alright. I'm gonna let this go for now, because I just want to get home and help you study. Thank you. Oh no, don't you thank me yet. I am still going to give you a drill sergeant level of tutoring, so you better be prepared. Roger that. Maybe tormenting him a little bit might help me deal with my frustration. <laughs> just take it out of him. Give him the hardest physics problem in the book. Do this! <laughs> It doesn't take us long to get home. June insisted we stop by his place so he could get changed, saying he didn't want to be in his uniform all afternoon. Hmm, so true, Akira. So true. Not that I blame him for that. I just waited outside his place while he got changed and then we headed to my house. One of the first things I do when I get here is turn on the fan. The weather was pretty okay earlier in the morning, but as the afternoon sun rolled around, it started getting more and more overbearing. Ha! Ah, cool air feels so nice. It certainly does. Jun leans with his face towards the fan, and I watch for a little bit as his fur blows along with the wind. I find myself smiling for some reason at the sight, somehow feeling just rela or relaxed just looking at it. I can English, please help. Do you want to get changed too, Nikasan? I can wait outside. If you were going to ask me that as soon as you walked into the room, then why did you even walk in, walk in in the first place? I, uh, I didn't really think about it. You're fine. I don't mind staying in my uniform. Besides, it helps me focus. Oh, now he's live. Joke's on him, I'm beating him. <laughs> focus? Yeah. If I get changed, then I'm just gonna want to sit down and laze around, and that just sounds like a terrible idea. So I'll keep my uniform on while I need to be productive. Oh, I guess I understand. Not that it is a really complicated concept, but... So, where do you want to start? Uh... June starts fiddling with his bag, opening it up and checking it his notebooks inside, probably trying to think of how to tackle the situation. Yeah, physics is a bitch to deal with. I could throw the English book at you, Dirk, if you really need help. Yeah, I'm stuttering that much at this point. I am... Ugh. My mind's mush. What tests do we have tomorrow? Can't you just look at your schedule? We just got you a new one not an hour ago. Oh, right. He fishes the folded sheet of paper from inside his back and starts looking it up. I'll admit that I could just tell him the answer, but he really should get into the habit of looking things up on his own. Not, le not least of all, because I don't want to end up turning into his personal search engine. Let's see, we have... Oh, right. Physics and chemistry. Exactly. I know you said you weren't doing too well in physics, but what about chemistry? I'm... doing better than in physics. That doesn't exactly fill me with confidence. Sorry, uh, my studies are a mess. Well, not much you can do about that. Honestly, I feel a bit bad. I promised a while ago that I'd start tutoring you, but I've barely done anything to help. 
what? And, and no, it, it's my fault. I was all too happy to let you forget because I really didn't want to do it. Besides, I barely even study when I have the time. I just start playing video games or something. That's just me with studying right now. I'm just gonna do city skylines instead of studying. I literally stayed up, stayed up until like 3 a.m. last night building a city for city skylines. And it's horrid looking. Like I purposely tried to make it as convoluted and trash looking as possible. And it's probably gonna just hurt to look at. <laughs> yes, he really is a kindred spirit. Although, I suppose I at least do the bare minimum. Alright, no good will come out of the lamenting, so we better get started. Since you're doing worse in physics, let's start from there. Once we go through the whole material, at least once we can check chemistry out. Okay. A few hours later. I love the writing of the pencil. I absentmindedly stare out the window, watching the sky darken with each passing minute. Just like me right now. The typical quiet that comes with nighttime ring in a near deafening silence in my ears. The irregular sounds of June scribbling on the paper is the only thing breaking the monotony. Every now and again he'd ask me questions, but for the most part, once we went over stuff a couple of times, he started getting the hang of things. Yeah, calculus. Mm. Lucky you, only one math class. Mine requires me to take like all six of my lower division ones. All six of my lower division maths, and I've done five so far. I'm taking the last one next quarter, but the problem is, the only time that I could take is at 8 a.m. Or do a three day a week course that's like Monday, Wednesday, Friday, which would suck even more. Anyway. <sighs> Sleepiness ensues. Now that he, now he's just doing some exercises to work things out on his own and make sure the lessons are sticking properly to his mind. He's not stupid like he says he is. He's just unbelievably lazy. That's so me. Getting through to him is a chore, but a decent amount of reminders of what's good. Well, decent amount of reminders of what's on the line managed to get him sufficiently motivated and also pretty anxious you kind of need the anxiety some anxiety not too much a little bit of it to motivate you otherwise you kind of just sit there like a vegetable and go eh, what's the point in life and do nothing fingers crossed and hope things work out for the best I feel something poking my shoulder and look to my side Oh, I thought you were saying that's what happened, Gojira. I was, like, so scared. I'm like, Shuichi gets kicked out? I'm like, I'm gonna fucking fight his dad now. But, oof, if that happens, oof, I am, I am so on his side. I'm gonna sell up Shuichi. Anyway. I see Jun's face sitting alarmingly close to mine, making me flinch for a brief second. Luckily, he doesn't notice that. The tiger is holding out a piece of paper and sighing, his left brow twitching a few times. I think I'm done. Man, it almost feels like someone sucked his soul out of him. He's so listless. Really? All of them? Damn, that was faster than I thought. Nikosan, that was cruel. You gave me more exercises to work out than we had on our tests. Nah. You only think that because the social studies tests are shorter. These are about the same size you'll, you'll get tomorrow. Then that's even more cruel. What if I'm too fatigued tomorrow to focus on the tests? Just make sure you get a proper night's sleep and you'll be fine. Yeah, sure. He sums forward, resting his chin and part of his chest on the table. His eyes flit towards me every now and again while I go over his work checking them against the answer keys and grading his paper. Hmm. I see. He might have been complaining about it, but he did a decent job. I mean, for only a single day's worth of studying. We're not gonna get any miracles out of him, but against the other tests I made him take when 
he first started. This is marked improvement. Well, yeah, you did better. By how much? One point. <laughs> you got, or you got 74% correct. No way. Only 74? That's not enough to pass. I mean, sure, but that's still nearly 30 points more than before. It's something you can actually make up for in the next tests. I know that, but I can't just be making up for my grades. I need to do my best if I want to go where I want to go. The big cat sighs and whines, his chin still smushed up against the, my table. So I just... Scratching something. The fur around his neck is somewhat bristled, even his tail is lashing behind him. Not only that, but the way his brow is furrowed, it's making a somewhat comical fold right on the corner of his forehead. Or the center of his forehead, sorry. Nika-san, is something the matter? What? You're staring really hard at my face. Is something wrong? I am? Yeah, you didn't notice. Sorry, I was lost in thought. I didn't even notice I was staring. You say I'm bad with that sort of thing. <laughs> Jun sighs, grabbing his paper and going over it once again. He taps the tip of his pen idly against the desk at a regular interval, almost as if he were mar marking a rhythm. Can we go again? You sure? It's already kind of late, and we've been at this for a while. You don't want to burn yourself out. Oh. Would it be too much of a bother for you? No, no, no. That's not what I meant. I just don't want you to push yourself too much. It might have the opposite effect if you're too tired to focus on the test tomorrow. Isn't that what I... Or isn't that what I said just now? Well, on second thought, it had a lot of merit. Can we keep going anyway? Please, I feel like if I review where I went wrong one last time, I might be able to get it right. Alright, alright. Just remember that if you want to do well in the midterms, you're gonna have to keep doing this every day for the rest of the week. Just because you can handle it today doesn't mean you can last a week. I can handle it. <laughs> sure you can. Alright, see this question right here? You were doing it right at first, <laughs> but... Jun leans up against me, listening very attentively to my explanations. I wish he could apply himself like this more often. I don't think he'd turn into a model student, but at least he'd be getting passing grades. Heh, <laughs> so I have to do it like this. I have to explain things more than once, but he does eventually catch and on and fix his mistakes. Before I... Ugh. This game is making me tired, too. Before I even notice it, Jun has scuttled so close to me with his chair that he's nearly leaning his body against the left side of mine while going over my explanations. Only a small distance separates us right now. This is probably the closest we've ever been. And yet, I don't really mind it. It's a pleasant, calm feeling. It's nothing grand or exciting, but it still, still leaves me feeling peaceful. I don't really know how to explain it very well. Slowly, I lift my left arm until my hand is just a hair's width away from his head. I want so badly to reach out and do something, but I don't know what. I'm afraid of trying to do something and messing things up. The, those complicated thoughts I had the past few days just come rushing back in with full force. I'm okay with being friends, but okay with being close. But just thinking of making the jump to a romantic relationship scares me. It makes me anxious, 
it makes me or it makes it hard to breathe just to think of how badly I could screw things up and how how he could come out hurt I don't want that the fear of is so bad it's paralyzing but I, get, I still want to reach out to him I want to close this gap between us even just a little bit even if it's not much, I want to feel like I'm walking forward. I asked for time to think things over and I've been obsessing about it since yesterday. But if I want anything to happen, if I want to come to any kind of decision, then shouldn't I take a first step towards it, even if it's scary? I hesitantly begin to pet him, going very slowly, trying not to make a big deal out of it. June does make any no or June does make any noises or sudden movements. In fact, I at first think he doesn't even realize it. But then, almost as if it were nothing, the few centimeters that separated us are quickly closed and the tiger leans his head to rest on my shoulder. Calmly and naturally, he continues to listen to my now shaky voice. Calmly and naturally, his tail swishes behind him getting a little bit closer at time, until it's wrapped tightly around my waist and the tip is resting on the top of my right thigh. He's... I'll give it to him. He's surprisingly smooth. I catch my voice faltering and I get the urge to look away. But I know if I make a big deal out of this, it'll probably affect him too. For good or bad, he's a very empathetic person, and if I let the atmosphere get awkward, he's gonna feel it even more than I will. <sighs> oh, sorry about this, guys. I'm just like, yeah, feeling the tiredness. Um, so, does it all make sense so far? I somehow managed to go through all the questions he got wrong with only minimal stuttering. Unlike me. <laughs> yeah, it does. At least I think it does. Can you make another exam sheet for me? Sure, just give me a few minutes. Oh, okay, I'm gonna go over these again while you do that. He pulls away from leaning forward onto the desk while he goes back to work, redoing the questions he got wrong. I take a deep breath right afterwards, sighing. I'm conflicted. I feel both relieved and disappointed right now. Why can't I just understand what I want? Just keep in mind this is the last one. After you're done with it, we should really wrap up for the day. It's already nearly 9pm and you need to sleep. Okay, no problem. Okay, I'm gonna quickly get some water, so I'm gonna... Oh, sorry. I'm gonna turn off the mic for a second, is what I was gonna say. So, I'm gonna lower the mic like this. And get some water. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. Uh, even though I have a mini fridge, all I have in there is one Dr. Pepper and then a bunch of beers. 
all of them are mixed alcohol or mixed fruity drinks I'd say like you know Mike's hard lemonade those types of drinks I'm not a big fan of like the straight beers and stuff I like a little more flavor in my alcohol Anyway, I'm back. The school bell finally rings, marking the end of the last day of midterms. Reactions are mixed inside the classroom, with many students groaning or cursing as they failed to finish their tests. Others are jubilant to finally be done with this hellish week. After all, the last thing a student body wants to deal with is a full week of tests right after a full week of having fun with a festival. If I could meet whoever it was that made up the scheduling, I'd have some very strong choice words for them too. Why not... Hmm... Why not do the test first, then do the festival? Oh wait, no. That'd be terrible, because they'd be planning stuff while taking the midterms. Uh, still, it's so... Uh, it's such bad timing. But it's only like the first of like four midterms, so, you know. It's not like me where I only have one midterm than a final for my classes. Yeah, college gets bad. After having graduated so they could, or after having graduated so they couldn't take it out of all my grades, of course. Well, students, or very well, students, everyone pass their papers along. Don't even try to keep writing. If you so much as touch your paper with your pen after the bell rings, I will give you a zero. Shiba-sensei goes around collecting everyone's papers. While we, but while everyone else has scowls or frowns or just looks plain defeated, the stag alone is the picture of health and peace. Probably because it wasn't he that just spent a whole week studying non-stop and stressing over tests. Do I sound bitter? I feel bitter. <laughs> now I want you all to remember, just because your tests are over doesn't mean you could slack off. You still have the entire school year ahead of you. Even if there's a few months before midterms start again. Or even if there's a few months before midterms start again. I doubt anyone is even listening at this point. Most of everyone is just nodding along to everything he says with the most soulless eyes possible. I sincerely hope you've all done well in your tests. The results will be posted next Friday and club activities can resume again next week. You are all excused for today. He walks out of the room, carrying all of our exams with him. As soon as he leaves, the class lets out a collective sigh of relief. Ugh, finally over. June is slumped over his desk, exhausted. The poor guy has barely had any breaks since the week started. He'd come over to my place right after the exams were over and we'd study non-stop until 10 or 11 p.m. depending on the day. The, that only just leaves him the time to get home, eat and sleep. That's going to be a miserable existence for anyone, especially if they're not used to this sort of thing. You hanging in there alright? If I die, tell my mother I love her. If you can crack jokes, then I guess that means you're fine. I just want to do something fun. I'm just, I'm just fun starved. I need to relax. Huh. And here I thought you'd just go straight home and flop under your bed, not waking up, not waking up until tomorrow. No way. I need to relax. That would be me too. Yes, I heard you the first time. You don't need to emphasize it. Do you have any plans for the day, Nico-san? Nope. Not a one. <laughs> not a single one. How about we do something together? We can invite the others too. I'm sure they'd welcome a break as well. Yeah, I'm still a bit worried about Shuichi. He hasn't talked to me at all since Monday, and he looked pretty stressed out then. Oh, right. 
I forgot about that. I forgot he existed. <laughs> June's existence is causing Shuichi pain. <laughs> but hey, tests are over now. I'm sure he'll have more time to hang out. Yeah, you're probably right. I'll send him I'll send them all a message. How about we go out to eat? I'm hungry. Have you been eating after getting home? Um sometimes? Oh my god, this is so me. I'm like, why well, only eat like one meal a day because I'm just too tired and too lazy to make another? Define sometimes. I had dinner on Monday. The other days I was too sleepy, so I just went to bed. You've been going without dinner f wait, what? I had dinner on Monday. The other days I was too sleepy, so I just went to bed. Oh my god, why is this me? Stop being me, June. That's bad for your health. You've been going without dinner for a week? <laughs> Don't just laugh at that. I'm serious, June. You need to take care of yourself. I'll be fine. I'm just a little tired is all. I just need a break. I wonder your heart is terrible right now. You're starving yourself. I sigh, quickly typing an invite to shoot the others while I try my best to look annoyed so I can drive my point home. Come on, nico son, don't be mad at me. Then eat properly, preferably now. I'll treat you. What? You don't have to treat me. I'm just fine. I'm fine paying for myself. No, I'll treat you, and that's that. Especially because I feel a little guilty over this. I've been cooking dinner for me and Aki after June had already left her home. I probably should have just taken a dinner break and offered to let him eat with us. But I thought for sure he'd be eating the food he had at home when he got there, so I didn't even think of that. And I've already messaged everyone. Come on. I asked them to meet us at the gates. Okay. A few minutes later. Now that exam week is over, the amount of students lingering around after the end of the school day is much bigger. Now that they have the room to breathe and catch up without fearing for their grades, they're taking the opportunity to be social again. Just like we are. Or would be, except... Damn, I just got an answer from Case K. Case K. It's so hard to say sometimes. He says he's gonna be busy with band practice. Sai and Shuichi both just said they couldn't come and didn't speak another word about it. Hmm. <clears throat> Sai makes sense. Shuichi, that salt is still there. It hurts. What? Ah. Aw. I was looking forward to getting everyone together. This sort of thing happens. People get busy sometimes. It's no big deal. I guess. I wonder what we should do now. Guess it'll just be the two of us together today again. Because of the exams, we've been spending quite a bit of time alone together lately. It doesn't bother me, but a little voice in the back of my head t keeps telling me to panic whether th whenever the two of us are alone in, this, in a room. And June hasn't been shy about touching me or leaning against me either. I mean... I guess I did start it, but w when he does it, or when he does it too, I feel self-conscious. Although I'm pretty sure I like the attention. What do you think we should do? Should we just go out to eat and call it a day? I suppose. Besides, we don't, or we didn't have any plans either, and it's hard to think of stuff to do at the last moment. Yeah. I guess that's true. Just then, I spot a few familiar faces, worn out places, <laughs> leaving the school building altogether. They're all just, oh, I thought it was gonna be like Case K and those guys that we invited. Like they all just do their own thing and they're salty as hell at us. Never mind, we have other friends. Most of our classmates show up, all of them walking side by side and chatting with each other. And, wait, is that Sorku with him? What's he doing here? Oh, hey there. Er, oh, hey there. I see you guys survived Hell Week. Yep, I'm surprised all you people did. 
What's that supposed to mean? Exactly what I said. Anyway, what's up? We're all going out together to celebrate being done with midterms. Wait, but Sarakun, what are you doing with my classmates? What are you doing with them? I'm cooking them. <laughs> I am cooking them. A feast! <laughs> The panda rubs the back of his neck. Wait. Oh, wait. I thought Sorokun said something. I was like, my mind just went off for a second. The panda rubs the back of his neck, laughing nervously. Oh, shoot. They have similar voices against Shira and Sora. It's just... It kind of worked out this way, I guess. We started chatting every now and then after we met when we, uh, went to see you in the hospital. Sora nods, smiling. <sighs> yeah. So he invited me to go out with everyone. I don't really know many people in my own class, so I thought it'd be nice to go out. It's amazing how thin he is for a panda. You'd think he'd have, like, more of the June guts. Or at least a more broad build. Surprisingly thin, I guess. Oh well. Oh, I see. Thank you for that. The fox smiles and nods, sticking his chest out with pride. Gay pride. <laughs> I'm surprised you could even talk to them. When I first met you, you were a stuttering mess. The panda's eyes go wide for a second, and he blinks rapidly a few times, and his brain tries to process. That's... Oh, that's not. Do you guys want to join us too? Gim quickly cuts into the conversation, a forced smile on his face. Well, we were talking about going out together, but too, but the rest of our group was too busy, so we weren't sure what we would do together. That's perfect then. We were going out downtown. Jin wanted to try go karting, and we were going to stop for food on the way. Karting? At the simple mention of karting, June's eyes immediately light up, and I know then and there that we have to go along with them. Okay, that sounds like a plan. Or that, or that sounds like a plan we can get behind on. Right, June? Yeah! He nods excitedly, laughing. Somehow we al he already seems much livelier than before. Although with June, that isn't exactly a challenge either. Although I have to ask, how did you guys get him of all people to tag along? I gesture to Kumagawa with my head and everyone follows my gaze right back to him. The bear, however, doesn't take his eyes from his counsel for even a single second and doesn't notice our stares. Honestly, I'm as shocked as you are. Jin shrugs, deciding that the thought doesn't really merit any thinking about. vic invited him and he came along. Yes, I was actually a little surprised too, but he said yes anyway. Hey, ryuji -san. At the mention of his name, the bear finally looks up and notices us staring at him. He raises an eyebrow and looks confused for a second. Yes? Or wait, it's so hard, those two have similar voices, Vic Vikun and Ryuji. Yes? It, it has to be a deeper accented voice. So, yes? I don't mean to offend, but what are you doing here? You're one of the last people I'd imagine tagging along. They said they were going downtown and I thought it'd be a good chance to swing by for the or swing by my favorite store to pick up a new game that just came out. Ah, I guess that's a reason to tag along. I know a big video game nerd like you wouldn't go out into the wild of his own volition, especially given the risk you might burst into flame on contact with the sun. There are some snickers within the group as the bar goes back to, or as the bar, as the bear goes back to playing his game. Although I suppose cutting might be fun too. Wait, wait, wait! You're interested in doing something fun in real life? Hey, hey, hey Mika-san! I think you're making too big of a deal out of this. 
Don't give me that look. You were just as shocked as I was. I don't. I didn't know you had an interest in carting, Ryoji saw or Ryoji Kun. The bear shrugs. It would be. It'd be like a real life version of a video game. Oh, I see now. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm sorry, but if we start firing cannonballs and missiles at each other while we're carting, that'll be my cue for retiring from the race. Hmm. I think that would be fun. Surely you're kidding. Uh, I wonder if banana peels would actually be able to make a cart slip. How about we buy some before we go and give it a try? We're going to get kicked out of the venue, aren't we? Littering aside, bananas can be a pretty good snack before these kinds of activities. They won't weigh on your stomach and they'll fill you with energy. They're pretty healthy. Sounds like jocks. And he dumped me, so please change the voice if you would be so kind. Sorry to hear about that. Um, like I'll, I'll try and think of like a newer voice, or at least something a bit more moderated. Like, I'm trying to go for more of like a French sounding accent because he's from France, but yeah, I'll try my best to kind of do an alternate French accent. <laughs> Sorry about that. Healthy, huh? Didn't know you had interest in that sort of thing. Yin stutters, looking at me with pursed lips and a frown. He almost seems... confused. Eventually, he stammers out an actual response, sighing. We should probably just get going. Sometime later. We all head out to a small coffee shop downtown for a quick eat. The stuff has to merge... Or the staff. The staff has to merge two tables together to accommodate our little me menagerie. Jesus Christ, these words. Because of the day and time we got here, we had to wait a while before they finally got tables for us, but the whole process was overall pretty painless. Hey, there's one thing I always wondered. What's the difference between a coffee shop and a cafe? How much they want to charge you. <laughs> Mm, that's a good one. That's a perfect roast. I doubt it can be just that. Maybe how fancy the environment is. I mean, this place is nice and all, but it's not like the cafe I went with, with you before, Nika-san. It's probably the same as the difference between a diner and a restaurant. I'm pretty sure there are differences other than the price tag and how fancy the place is. Oh yeah? Name one. I don't know. Uh, I'm not an expert on the subject. All I know is that I've been given, uh, I've been to some really fancy diners and some really rundown restaurants, so I don't think that applies. Hmm, that's a good point. Maybe we could ask a waiter what the difference is. Sure. Just call him over and ask, hey, why isn't your establishment called the cafe? Are you guys not fancy enough? I'm sure that'd go over swimmingly. I didn't say you had to phrase it like that. Sorry, Kuhn, he's just messing with you. Well, why are you guys going to order anyway? I wouldn't recommend getting anything too heavy. I wouldn't want to get sick on the cards. Okay, I'm trying to think of an alternate voice for Victor now. <laughs> hmm. Try. Look at that face. How do I voice Victor now? <laughs> I'm thinking too hard about this. Might as well just run into it. But if you do, that could serve a, that could serve as a stand-in for a banana peel. Or, but if you do, that could serve as a stand-in for a banana peel. I went too flat on that. Ew, gross. What do they have on the menu anyway? Probably just basic coffee shop stuff. Some sandwiches, a few baked goods, and some drinks. 
depending on how many varieties of these things they have, I mean, you could still end up being pretty big, though. That's true. You could just look at the huge menu they have behind the counter instead of asking yourselves that. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Yeah, yeah. Evidently. Behind the counter is a huge blackboard with a bunch of different options and prices written down in faded white chalk. I guess the chalk was so faded that we couldn't make it out, make out it was actual writing until we were seated. Wow, they're really old school. They still have menus on chalk. I think the word you're looking for is outdated. They could just go with a simple laminated menu instead. It's much simpler and probably allergy free. Can you even be allergic to chalk? Wouldn't surprise me. Some people are allergic to dust. Or pollen. I knew a guy who or I knew a guy who was allergic to his own fur. Ouch, that's gotta be terrible. What a miserable life that guy must live. Some people are probably allergic to or some people are allergic to water too. That must suck a lot too. My friend, my brother's girlfriend claims that one of her cousins is allergic to water. It's so weird. Like I don't know how that would make sense, but oh well. Sure, but imagine being allergic to yourself. Oh my god, this is like such a childhood conversation. How about being allergic to dirt and water at the same time? Then you have reactions whenever you're dirty, but can't shower because you're allergic to the water. Ooh, that sucks. <laughs> I don't even want to imagine that. I'd probably go insane. I like taking baths way too much to begin with. I'd be very sad if I couldn't. These people must need really strong coping mechanisms and support groups to get through life like that. There is a silent agreement on our table as everyone just nods along. Is everyone here allergic to something? Nichan and I are... Wait. Who's Ni? Oh, again, Nichan. Yeah. Nichan and I are both lactose intolerant, but I don't know if that counts as an allergy. Same here, buddy. Lactose intolerant club, baby. One benefit about it, though? Lactate ice cream. Mmm. That is some good stuff. Not advertising it, but damn, I freaking love that stuff. <laughs> like, I have a really good mint chip flavor. Sorry, not an advertiser, but I'm just saying that I love it. I love that ice cream. A genuine passion for lactose-free ice cream. Or technically, the ice cream, this is gonna sound like a commercial, but technically, the ice cream itself has enzymes that dissolve the lactose, so you don't have to like take any enzyme pills for it. And so whenever you eat the ice cream, you just, the enzymes are dissolved, or the, like the lactose gets dissolved. Anyway, definitely a recommendation for any lactose intolerant people out there. Not a commercial though. <laughs> Still. <laughs> lactose allergy is basically the more gung-ho version of lactose intolerance. I'm lactose intolerant too. Is it most of Japan? <laughs> Lactose intolerance is actually a pretty prevalent thing in most of Asia. It's pretty easy to find people who suffer from it. In that sense, I guess I kind of lucked out. European genes here. <laughs> everyone, everyone in my family is pretty healthy. <laughs> we don't have any allergies, I think. I'm allergic to some types of medication. Heparin... Benazepril, aspirin, or benazepril. What the fuck? I'm trying to think of what those are supposed to be. There's some others I don't remember off the top of my head. I have no idea what half of that stuff is. How do you even know that stuff? Like, don't you have to be given medicine to find out you're allergic to it? Um, sort of. Do the doctors test you for stuff, too. I stare at him with a raised eyebrow, feeling us very suspicious. Feeling, uh, yeah, feeling very suspicious all of a sudden. The tiger immediately shrinks on his seat, looking away from me and at the menu on the wall. Hey, did you guys decide on what you're gonna order? 
I think I'm gonna get a tuna sandwich and some juice. Ugh, I, I can't stand those seafood. Dude, then you come to the wrong country. <laughs> this is Japan! <laughs> nah, other meats are also really easy to find in Japan. Only because it gets imported from outside. Hmm, that's true. Japan doesn't have much land to raise livestock. I think I'll... I think I'll order a bagel. Are those... Uh, pizza squares? Those are a thing in Japan. Or, those are a thing in Japan? I think they're a thing in most of our world. Just like that, the conversation switches back to food once more. However, June continues to avoid my gaze, and I don't feel comfortable asking him questions like that in public, especially when he looks so, so desperate to avoid the subject. Transition. Ooh, we got a new go-kart background. But it's not like an actual, like, you know, dra drawn background. We need Black Sun for that. Black Sun, the guy who draws the best backgrounds. After we finished with lunch, we all head right to the karting venue June mentioned. The place is surprisingly big. Those are there are multiple tracks inside, and apparently people can race in groups of eight. And there are seven of us. Wow. Which means there are since there are seven of us, man, I can count. At least one racer in our track would be some random person, some sad, lonely person who doesn't know what's coming to them. Let me join. It'd be funny. It's like. But that random person will be you! Join the race, reader! <laughs> That'd be so funny. The place looks pretty busy. Probably since it's Friday and classes are done for the day in most schools. Wow, I've never been to a place like this before. It's so huge. Actually, surprisingly, neither have I. Yeah, it's pretty neat. I come here every now and then when I just want to have fun. It feels good to crush some newbies. What he means by that is he spends most of his allowance here. Hey! The smaller mouse glares at his older brother, who seems as calm and serene as he always does. He also likes to go to the baseball batting cages down the street. Ooh, that'd be a good idea too. Or, that'd be a good idea too. We should go there after we're done here. I've never been to one of those. What are they like? You got a, or you get a baseball bat and a helmet, you get inside a cage, and a robot shoots balls at you that you can bat. June's eyes immediately shine, and I can already tell we're going to have to go there as well. A robot? That's so cool. I want to go see the robot. Unfortunately, typically you don't really see the robot other than like the arm eating the ball. What? No, I mean, a robot robot. Just a, you know what? Forget it. We'll go after we're done with the parts if no one else has any objections. None here. Yeah, I'm fine with. Yeah, I'm fine with. I wonder if they have some place around here where you can play ice hockey. We're all just gonna like, do like five different things at once. Oh god, I've never seen any. Wouldn't you need a team to play that anyway? You need a team to play baseball, and yet you have batting cages anyway. Oh, right. I guess that's true. Anyway, are we going to join the line, or are we just going to stand around here gawking at the place? The line doesn't look too big. I don't think it'll take too long. Luckily, the line is moving somewhat fast, just like June mentioned. Apparently, each person pays for a number of laps here. Once each racer finishes running five laps, they have to drive the, to the exit, and a new set of racers enters after everyone has finished theirs. Which means the ones, or which means the one who wins the race is also the one that gets to drive the least amount of time. I didn't even look at the prices. How much is it anyway? I can treat you if you want. No, I'm fine with paying for myself. You already treated me to food. I don't want to mooch. It's not mooching if I enjoy doing it. You and I have very different definitions of the word. It's five hundred dollars. No, five hundred dollars. It's yen. God damn it. It's five. 
It's 500 yen for five laps. Yeah, five dollars for five laps, that's a steal. Places out here where I live would be like, it's 20, 20 dollars for like five laps or some crap, or like 25 or 30. Places out here are expensive. That's not too bad. It's pretty okay, actually. Does that even cover the cost of running the place? The bear shrugs, either not knowing the answer to my question or not being bothered enough to give it. How about we go multiple times? Like, say, 15 laps? Wow, someone's greedy. I can't help it. It just looks like so much fun. Just make sure you don't bleed your wallet dry in the process. It's only 500 yen. I'll be fine. Yes, it's only 500 yen. If done once. If you keep doing it over and over again, it'll stack up. Still, I quietly sigh and just decide to let that go for now. No sense trying to, well, talk sense into him. How fast can these go anyway? I don't know. You'll have to ask the clerk when it's our turn. Although it probably doesn't go very fast given that kids are allowed to drive these. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Yeah, they're not very fast. They definitely look faster than they feel, which is a real bummer. I'm glad they're not that fast. You already lose control half the time as is. You didn't have to tell them that! It's not like, pe it's not like people would figure out once you start crashing onto us. I don't crash. Really? Then what do you call it? Mistakes. Uh, uh, bulldozing? <laughs> Your attempt to make it sound less lame only makes it sound even lamer. Screw you, I'm not lame. You're not gonna tear me down. No need. You already do that to yourself way better than I could ever hope to. I hear a few whistles to my response as the younger mouse stares at me with a murderous temper tantrum. Nika-san, you don't have to be so mean. How am I mean? I'm convinced you don't notice half the stuff that comes out of your mouth. What? I'm not... I'm not mean, am I? Maybe not mean. Maybe... Abrasive would be a better term. Abrasive? Wow, I'm surprised you know that word. There it is. Well, that's what I'm talking about. Huh? You say that kind of thing all the time without even caring about how insulting that can come out. I, I, I do? Some days more than others. I think you've insulted every single one of us at least once today. Some more than others. Jin frowns, shooting me daggers with his eyes and crossing his arms. I didn't... It's easy to forgive because we know you don't mean it, and sometimes you're just trying to make a joke, but it can get annoying every once in a while. That's putting it mildly. I mean, I don't personally mind it all that much. I think it's normal for friends to, or for good friends to insult each other. Not everyone is the same way, though. Some people don't like that sort of thing. People, act, and people especially don't want someone following them around basically acting like a mirror to constantly point out and remind them of their flaws. But I... I didn't... June places his hand on my shoulder and gives me a gentle squeeze, smiling mournfully at me. Just dial it down for a little bit, okay? Most of the time you're okay, but it's like you dialed it up to 11 today. Does everyone think the same? The only one who didn't speak up about it is Ryuji. But then again, I'm convinced he's not even listening to our conversation. Watch. Jin taps the brown bear's shoulder a few times and calls out his name. Yeah, Ryuji. The bear sluggishly looks up, his eyes quickly scanning around him and looking at each of us. What? What's your take on it? My take on what? The younger mouse makes a gesture with his hand, pointing at the bear with a smug smile on his face. See? 
Kumagawa frowns, staring at Jin with confusion. Never mind. You can go back to playing your game. We, we, we'll let you know when it's, your when it's our turn. What are you even playing? It must be really good for you to be this distracted. Dragon Rush Saga... Dr Dragon Rush Saga 34. The Panda frowns. The what? I I've never heard of it. Or I've never heard about it. It's an obscure gaming series from a mobile gaming development company. It's pretty terrible. And then... Why are you playing it? The romanceable girls are cute. <laughs> I'm here for the titties. <laughs> I come for titty. Uh, brother. Sora stares at the older bear with a look that I can't quite identify. It might be disgust. Oh, sorry. Moment of tiredness came over me. It might be disgust, or he might just be constipated. Who knows? It's probably disgust, though. I think he's played more bad games than I play games in general. That's pretty easy to do when you have no life other than playing games. <gasps> he did it again! I immediately get a bunch of blink stairs pointed right at me, and the awkwardness comes flooding in really quickly. I'll shut up. A few minutes later, once our turn in line finally comes, we're each given a cart and the venue employees help us get strapped in properly to our seats. Half of me is surprised Gin managed to fit inside his cart, but after the awkward conversation we had not 20 minutes ago, I don't dare voice those thoughts. I'll just ignore the little voice inside my head telling me to crack jokes at the things I see. I ended up being given a purple colored cart with the number 7 stamped in white on the front of it. All things considered, I don't mind the look of it. I would definitely have preferred the red cart though, but, well, I didn't really get to choose. Jun was given a green cart with the number 4 on it, and made a passing comment about he, he wished he got an orange instead. The employees went over basic instruction, taught us how to accelerate, brake, how to do curves and general knowledge. They were very thorough with their explanations too, because it took almost 5 minutes for them to finish. On top of the starting line is, on top of the starting line being a, a being a big LED screen that that does the all right, wait, uh, on top of it, the starting line is a big LED screen that does the countdown to take off. Now eyes were glued on the thing as soon as it beeped the first time. Five, four, three. Two. One. As soon as it rang with the final beep, all engines were revved up to the max and the race started. The whole race was comprised of a small circuit with a few twists and curves mixed in. Nothing too crazy, definitely no video game level tracks where we have to make crazy jumps over raps and whatnot. That'd just be begging for a lawsuit. On the very first curve, the first thing I notice is Jin accelerating even more when we were clearly told to slow down for the curves. He tries to go for a drift, but ends up spinning out of control instead. The sides of the track are surrounded by a bunch of foam blocks chained together into a single band bendable piece. Once he crashes, the wall sort of deforms around his car and absorbs the impact. Preferably not a bad idea, adding some sort of cushioning to the track will keep people from getting hurt. God forbid their walls are made out of car tires stacked up on top of each other instead. <laughs> oh, American tracks. As soon as you hit them, they might all collapse on top of you and I shudder to think of the damage. Having never gone karting before, I'm being extra careful to avoid a fate like Jin's, so I'm going to be a bit on the slow side. Meanwhile, Gin is right ahead of me being another careful, if slightly more experienced driver. Victor and Sora are both speeding ahead and trying to just straight up win without caring about crashing, though they are still noticeably more careful than Jin. Kumagawa and Jun are both at the very back, going super turtling and just, I don't know, enjoying the scenic view. Frankly, I don't even see the point of driving if you're going to go that slow. 
Then there's the random person who's also in the track with us. He's currently right behind me and doesn't seem to be making much of an effort to pass me by. I have to say, the feeling of the wind on my face and having my fur and clothes flutter against it is really nice. I didn't know that going this fast could be so much fun. Maybe I could try going a little faster? Oof, you give me choices now. So many, so many tough decisions. This sounds like such a Nico thing to do. Yeet! <laughs> I stepped foot on the gas pedal and decided to ramp up my speed a little. Hey! I briefly hear Gin's voice as my vehicle goes past him and I begin to gain on him. Victor and Sora are both really far ahead by now, and I'm not sure I can gain on them before the end of this lap at least. I also don't want don't wait, I also don't want to what I don't want what happened to Okay, that's some fucked up grammar. I also don't want what happened to Jin. I also don't want to do what Jin did. Okay, that's what I, what I was missing. I also don't want to do what Jin did and end up crashing because he's now dead last thanks to that. He's just dead. <laughs> Behind me, I hear the sound of motors revving up even more and with a quickly glance behind, I see that those at the back decided to accelerate in response to my sudden burst of speed. Gin is right on my tail with Kumagawa and Jun right behind him. The eight driver seems to con con seems content to just keep pace and let everyone else pass him by without a care, probably thinking it's not worth it to risk going faster. But then again, he looks younger than us, so maybe he's just too scared to go fast? We reach a curve and everyone else slows down to keep from losing control. Jun manages to overtake both Kumagawa and Jin by doing a tight curve and rides right next to me. Yinka-san, I'm gonna beat you! He suddenly gains on me, going for the tightest possible curves every time. Please don't give him a heart attack on this, I would die if that happened. By the time we finish our third lap, Jun is pressed right against me and I'm at the risk of being left behind. While I don't think I can get past the other two currently contending for first place, beating June is the difference between a podium finish and fourth place. Hmm. Being top three is key. Gotta get that third place spot. Even though there isn't really a podium here. He's really close to me, so maybe if I cut him off on one of the curves, I might force him to slow down? Oh, don't make us decide this. Oh, come on! Ooh, that is a Dick move if we cut him off. Mm. Even though the daredevil inside of me wants to do it, it could be dangerous. If June didn't react fast enough, he could crash onto me, and that could be pretty ugly. I don't want to risk our safety for just a silly race. We go through the curve, and as I expected, June once again makes it as tightly as possible, managing to pass me by. He lifts an arm out of his cart and waves at me. Bye bye. He accelerates further and manages to gain a sizable lead over me, despite being among the latest racers at the start. By the time we reach the finish line, <coughs> sorry, June solidly placed himself in third place getting really close to passing by Victor for second. One for fun. Let's see what happens if he chose one. Stealing myself, blah blah blah. Hopefully this will scare him to decelerate. On the other hand, if he does, they might just crash at each other. Risk. As soon as he comes up, I ran my car. Okay, what? In his attempt to slow down and avoid me while making the curve, June loses control and spirals out of control. Yep, that would have been the dick move. He knocks into the barriers and makes a noise, slightly louder than I would have hoped. Whoa, June! I cry his name out before quickly even behind, waiting patiently for seconds. See if that will really halt. I know they said if it was a bad crash, they'd stop, but nothing happens. If nothing's happening, they just need to do still fine, but I don't see his card again. Sure enough, by the time we reach the end, there are only seven of us in the track. 
across the finish line, ending the race in third place. Doom be salty as fuck! <laughs> yeah, that is a dick move. That is such a dick move. <laughs> that is the big difference. Happy June or pissed off June. <laughs> We all step off out of the course, chatting excitedly amongst ourselves. <laughs> that was really fun. I'm just gonna save it here to be safe. You're just being smug because you finished in third. But of course not. I was having fun even when I was in last place. Besides, what kind of loser feels smug over third place? <laughs> Said the loser had finished in last. Hey! So much for your talks about having so much experience. I never said I was sure to win just because of that. No, you just said something about how you love to crush the newbies. Talk about instant karma. Jeez, will you guys lay off of me for a second? We only put, we only put you down when you get too full of yourself. Weren't you guys just complaining about that? Or weren't you guys just complaining about Nico-san doing that? I'm your brother. I'm allowed. The fuck? <laughs> oh my god, I can just imagine that being a meme, just like Jin just looking at his brother like, the fuck? The whole group chuckles at the mus muscular mouse getting all pouty over some silly teasing. I make sure to keep my mouth shut as much as possible since I don't want to risk getting in trouble again. I really don't want to get told over twice in the same day. Should we go again? I'm up for it. It, it was really fun. Yeah, I want to go again too. I guess I have nothing against it either. You could try to sound a bit more excited about it. At least I said something. Why don't you get on Kumagawa's case? He's distracted playing games again. Nah, I'm not close enough for, to him to do that. Damn, I feel so loved. <laughs> June's tail brushes up against mine for a split second. It was quickly enough that it might look like an accident, but given what I know now and the look on his face, I could say 100% that was deliberate. All right, it's decided then. Let's get back in line. And this time, I'm not getting last place again. If you, if I were you, if I were you, I'd aim for not crashing instead. That much is implied. A few hours later, to the batting cages. By the time we reached the baseball cage, the sun had already begun to set. The orange light paints the sky above us and covers the streets with a bright, blinding glow. To my amusement, I noticed that June's fur somehow gets even more bright orange under the d just direct light of the setting sun. Oh wow, this place is a lot more empty than I thought. Thank god for that. Now can you let go of my arm, please? Right. The streets had gotten much better by the time we were... Th we left the carding venue, as most people were starting to leave work. June had a small freak out in the middle of the crowd like he usually does. At least he's getting kind of better at this. He doesn't inc he doesn't go incoherent or catatonic or anything. He just grippled my wrist really tight and whispered to me that he just wanted to go somewhere quieter. So at least he still made sense. Even if his grip was just as crushing. I haven't come here in a while. I guess not many people come by this late. It's not even that late. The place still says it on for three more hours. Stays on for three more hours, sorry. Have you been here before? How do you know that? There's a huge sign on the wall right there showing the hours. Oh, June. June sheepishly looks at the direction I was pointing, reading the sign. Oh. Womp womp. How do you use the- or how do you use these? You go up to the counter and you buy tokens. Each token is good for up to 10 shots. 
Then you walk up to an empty cage and you place the token inside the machine so it opens the door for you. They're big enough to hold two people inside, but the workers really don't like it when you do that, so I wouldn't recommend it. Of course they don't like it. They are that big, so th you have room to swing. Not like, not so you can have a guest. They don't want you to get sued when someone gets hit over the head with a baseball bat. <laughs> Amusingly enough, that happened once. Yeah, and whose fault is that? Not mine. I wasn't the one swinging the bat. I told you to duck. Duck where? With what space? The two begin to bicker, raising their voices at each other and arguing in circles. This is where I'm glad I'm an only child. Yeah, this is why I wish I were an only child. This is why you don't bring another person with you into the cage. <laughs> Especially when the one swinging the bat is a huge man-child. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Fucking throw it on him, Jude. Why you gotta kill him like that? He's about to end this man's career. I heard that. Oh, sorry. I calmly leave the circus clowns behind and walk up to the front desk. Excuse me, I want to buy three tokens, please. The clerk nods and we run the transaction very quietly. The twins are still bickering amongst themselves while the others watch. I make my way to a cage and quickly step inside. They have helmets and bats on a small rack on the corner ready for players to choose which one they want to use. After that, you just need to get in position and hit a button for it to start. It is only after the echo of my first bath that I hear someone reacting. Ah, Nikosan, no fair! June cries out and runs up to my cage. That's just mean, leaving us behind like that. I wasn't just going to wait around for you two to stop fighting. Once the machine gets started, it keeps spitting out balls until your turn is over at regular intervals, so I can't let myself get very distracted. You should probably go get a token too if you want to play. Fine, but I'll get back at you for this later. <laughs> I'll be waiting. June runs to the front desk with just as much urgency as he ran towards me. At least he seems excited. Hopefully he'll have a good time. I keep batting for a few minutes until my first 10 balls end. I can see the rest of my tokens right now, but I decide to check up on June since I know he's never done this kind of thing before. When I get to his cage, I can see him wearing a helmet that is clearly too big for his head, swinging and failing to make contact with the ball. How many was that? What? Hey, you surprised me. I just talked to you. You did the same to me when I started, and you didn't hear me complaining. I haven't hit a single ball yet. Your form isn't very good. Bend your knees a little more. Like this? Yeah, that's good enough. Now when you start your swing, focus on using your hips more than your shoulders. You're barely using your hips at all right now. I'll try. A ball flies at June, he swings once again. I like that hitting sound, it sounds very nice. It barely makes contact with the bottom edge of his bat, flying nearly straight down to the floor, but hey, contact is contact! Hey, High five to that, basket! I did! Good job! You're getting the hang of it! How many balls do you have left? That was the last one. Here, I'll put in another token for you. Keep going. What? But I can go buy another one. You're doing well right now. If you take a break now, you might lose focus. Just trust me on this. Alright. I continue giving him pointers on how to properly swing and how to improve his form. I end up using both of my remaining tokens on this, mostly because I'm just having a lot of fun watching him try his best. June listens to me diligently and, by the end of the third token, can already hit most of the balls semi-decently. An hour later, after we'd said our goodbyes to the rest of the group, June and I began to walk home together. The sun has already fully gone down by this point, and the streets in our neighborhood are pretty deserted. Then again, most workers have already gone home by now, and this is a pretty quiet neighborhood to start with. 
Ow, my whole body is sore. Yeah, swinging a baseball bat for a whole while takes it out of you. I really wonder why Shuichi-san and Mizuguchi-san couldn't come with us, though. I don't know either. They haven't said anything else to me all day. I tried messaging both of them to ask if something was going on, but I got no answer other than them declining to go out with us. I admit it's got me a bit worried. Hopefully there's nothing bad happening and we'll all be able to get together again on Monday. Oh boy. That is a huge sign of foreboding. Oh boy. That's gonna make me nervous for November, December, January. Jesus, when that update comes. Don't forget that the club activities will start again next week, so we'll all have practice again. Oh, right. Do you think we can all go out together on the weekend, then? I can try asking, but I don't know if they'll come. I'd appreciate it if you did, anyway. Sure. I'll let you know if they answer me. If they say no, how about you just come over to my place? You wanted to watch me play piano again, right? Oh, yeah. I forgot I said that. I'd be happy to put on a little show for you. Then we can go out or do whatever it is you want. June's tail brushes up against my backside, quickly touching the back of my thighs and rustling against my own tail. I feel a bit embarrassed by the touch, but I don't mind it. <laughs> I'm starting to warm up to it, I think. We reach the front of his house, front gate of his house, I apologize, signaling the end of our little adventure through the neighborhood, our rendezvous. We both stop, looking at the lights of the house for a few seconds before speaking up again. Alright, here we are. I've delivered you safe and sound. Alright, I've delivered you safe and sound. Thank you. I'll talk to you later, okay? Of course. Of course! <laughs> I watch June unlock his house and step inside. I was gonna say step aside, but whoops. I watch June unlock his house and step inside. Once the doors close behind him, I begin to walk away myself. No, don't do this to me. I must save. And hey, everyone. Hope you've all been able to enjoy this update. I have to admit I was kind of rushed with this one. With my preparations for moving and then suddenly finding a great apartment that was available right now, I am now preparing to move one month earlier. So with this extra workload on top of my shoulders, I wasn't sure if I'd get all this all done and work it in time. <laughs> Still, I wish you all the best and we'll see you soon again in the next month. Cheers! I'm so jealous of you moving to a new apartment. I mean, the apartment I'm in is okay for now, but next year, I probably want to move to, like, an off-campus apartment in, like, our local college town around us. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to be looking for houses maybe starting, like, in January or February or something. It's like, you kind of want to buy maybe towards, like, the summer, I think. I don't know, it depends. Like, you kind of want to buy it early around here because it goes fast around here. So... I'm trying to get a single bedroom, that's why. Like, I'd want to be in an apartment where it's a one-person bedroom, and my roommate and I would be totally cool with that. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be nice. <laughs> so, anyway. That's pretty much it for today, I guess. I still want to check the chat. <laughs> yeah, Jin's such a wholesome character, though. It's hard to, it's like I know KCK is like the least favorite amongst the three, but it doesn't mean it's a bad route. It's just, it's just there's not as much going for it, I'd say, as Shuichi and June. But it's still solid in my opinion. Like, I still think it's fine. It's still developed, I'd say. It's not like, oh, it's the one that's just the throwaway. Like, oh, I must just have a throwaway character. Like, you definitely kind of genuinely feel for his split interest. But yeah... Shuichi's kind of chemistry and Jun's chemistry I think works better I'd say with our main character and that's why they're considered better 
That's just my opinion, though. <laughs> yeah. Thanks so much, Wolfstar. Uh, yeah. So it's been a solid two and a half hours. Man. At least I finished it all in one sitting this time, guys. Woo! So, I don't think I'm gonna do this, but I might do an additional stream tonight if I feel like it. After I take a break, of course, but yeah. I might do an additional stream sometime tonight. Like, I, I wanted, like, potentially do like a new series on my channel that isn't a visual novel but more something like a sandbox type of game like maybe streaming like minecraft or city skylines or at least just releasing like highlight videos of me playing them just like straight up or whatever stuff like that where it's like you know i really enjoyed playing those types of games and it's a lot easier i think to like kind of go off free-handed like that it's like as much fun as the novel is you kind of have to stick to the script of sitting down and just like I'm reacting to this and other than the chat not much else but with like doing a sandbox type of game or whatever you could, you basically make your own fun and <laughs> craziness from it yeah so that's something I potentially want to do um I don't I, I feel kind of bad just plugging this in again but I have a Patreon if anybody wants to donate to me and, like, help me so, like, maybe I don't have to take on as many work hours and maybe be able to spend more hours doing this. Um, yeah, so, <laughs> also, I have a tier there where it's a $3 tier where if my video is not safe for work video and it's, like, censored, like, a not live stream video, then, basically, I will re-upload a not safe for work version that's basically unlisted for the patrons that pledge three or more dollars i already have one video up there for it so yeah if anybody wants to pledge to it you can see avia dasher's episode eight not safe for work version so yeah that's enough plugging in for me sorry if that sounds so contrived but it's just if you guys feel it, like, I'm still working and stuff on campus, so it's not like I'm gonna completely die if you guys don't do anything. Like, I'm still gonna survive fine financially. It's just, it's just a nice supplement, and if I ever want to, like, you know, lay back a little on work, I can, I don't see myself ever being, like, full-time with this, ever. I have work, I have school to pay. Anyway... That's pretty much all I have for today, so... It, right, yeah. I was, I'm like, how am I going to conclude this? Alright, so, that's all I have for today, and until next time, take care, guys! <laughs>